I give you all praises to the Most High Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and th the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakhak Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles who taught us His truth through the Holy Spirit. Honors to the brethren that's laboring and doing the work to push the gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, which would be the one third of the true Israelites, who would be the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, who return it back to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai during these final moments so that he will have mercy on us in judgment. Not sure when I'm going to title this lesson, but we see this video I got lined up to the right. It reads, Graveyards never get filled to capacity or expand it. So they never make new graveyards and the graveyards we got never get full. Let's find out why. And then dump the remains down the drain to be recycled into municipal water supply. And so people are drinking it, they're showering it, they're doing their laundry in it. And this is happening in most states across the country. In most major cities, they're recycling dead people and feeding it to the living. What does that mean exactly? And they're grinding up the bones into powder. They call this calcium phosphate, which is going to be used for food processing. Undoubtedly. Maybe in your vitamins. And so what are the implications when people start eating dead people, like cannibalism? Because they're going to be cool running around out there. Mad cow disease. What about in the spiritual sense? Alright, so you see why the graveyard never gets filled to capacity or expanded. They said that they liquefy the dead people and put it into the city's water supply. So people drinking it, brushing their teeth with it, doing laundry with it, and showering in it. Then the bones, they grind up in the powder to use it as a food ingredient. But let's continue with this next video. Share with you, it's probably the most important information you'll ever come across in your life. But I'm gonna tell you without actually telling you. I'm gonna start by asking you a question. There are 3.5 million restaurants in America, 63,000 supermarkets and grocery stores. They're all stocked with meat. This is the question I want you to think about. Do you think that we have enough farms and animals in America to stock every single restaurant and every single grocery store with meat 24-7, 365? Now, with that question on your mind, I'm about to show you a clip from a movie. The movie is called Soiling Green. In this movie, the government runs out of food to feed the population, so they start to feed them something called Soiling Green. They're making our food out of people. Next thing they'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. You gotta tell them. Promise, Tiger. I promise. I'll tell the exchange. You tell everybody. Listen to me, Hatcher. You gotta tell them. Silent breed is people. Next, I want to show you a news clip. When you watch it, keep in mind that stuff like this happens all the time. It doesn't always get reported. A federal report shows more than 950 children in foster care vanished in Missouri. Lawmakers are furious with the state agency for a lack of protection and policy. Not a trace. Not a fingernail or a tooth left behind. Now I got one more clip to show you. This last clip is about to put everything in a perspective for you. I'm recording. So this is what we found um, in Kimberly's cheeseburger. My McDonald's burger, it looks like it's a tooth. Or part of a tooth, it's hard as a rock. Some may be thinking one person finding a tooth isn't a big deal. Oh, boy. <laughs> I got two teeth under the bed. <laughs> oh, hell. What is sausage and hamburger? And are you sure? Where do you think the missing children go? A lot of y'all should be making a big change in your life after seeing that. But share this video with the people that you love. If you want a new perspective on life, go to my page and go through all my videos. I show people the truth. I wake people. Hey, so that was the point. 
People get grounded up and put into the meat supply, fast food restaurants, and in the grocery stores. People also get liquefied and dumped into the city's water supply. And the bones get grounded up into a powder to be used as a food ingredient. <clears throat> Michael 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is talking about America as well as the rest of the world. Because the rest of the world is in bed with the whore which is Lady Liberty, which is America. So they follow in America and her wickedness. So really, nowhere in the earth is your place of rest. Anywhere that's under the influence of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. So arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It's polluted with chemicals, plastics, forever chemicals, toxic chemicals, and it's even polluted with people. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. This stuff that they put in the air, water, and food is destroying our minds mentally. It's destroying our bodies physically. Even the abominations and the wickedness that they push on the people. Uh, oppositions of science, the white man's Christianity, all these false doctrines lies, deceit, misinformation, that's a form of pollution that pollutes the minds of our people, which another way to destroy us. But this lesson here, we're going to talk about how this stuff that they put in the food and water destroys our mind. So next scripture we're going to get, Second Kings 4 and 38. And Elisha came again to Gilgal, and there was dirt in the land. And the sons of the prophets were sitting before him. And he said unto his servant, Set on the great pot, and sieve pottage for the sons of the prophets. And one went out into the field to gather herbs, and found a wild vine, and gathered thereof wild gourds, his lap full, and came and shred them into the pot of pottage, for they knew them not. So they poured out for the men to eat. And it came to pass, as they were eating of the pottage, that they cried out and said, O thou man of God, there is death in the pot, and they could not eat thereof. So yeah, that's today in America as well, mainly. You know, everything we eat is death in the pot, death in the cup, death on the plate. What we eating gonna destroy our minds, destroying our bodies, you know, polluting our spiritual temples which is our body you know what i'm saying it's killing us you know not only that the food meat supply and the water supply got grounded up human remains and liquefied human in it so it's literally death in the cup you literally got the remains of a dead person in your cup in your water supply when you take a shower Human meat and McDonald's burgers. That's literally death in the burger. Death in the wrapper. So again, thou man of God, there was death in the pot and they could not eat thereof. And this is the standard American diet. Most of your popular food brands got aborted um, fetal tissue in it. So for example, when you see something, it may say with other natural flavors, where do you think those natural flavors come from? Why don't they just list it? Well, those natural flavors come from aborted fetuses, unborn babies. So it is natural that they don't have to create it in the lab. They get it from a living organism, well, which was once living, but it was killed by the man of sin, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. But now we're about to get to the point so we come to Deuteronomy 28.52. And he, our enemy, Esau the so-called white man, shall besiege thee in all thy gates. That's what them surrounding the city. Like they did in 70 AD to Jerusalem when the Romans destroyed Jerusalem and killed everybody in the city. Like they did Black Wall Street. Like they gonna do to us again going into Jacob's trouble, Great Tribulation. Under martial law, a military lockdown of America. They're going to besiege or surround us in battle formation 
in our dwelling places until thy high and fence walls come down wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land throughout all america which yahweh thy god have given thee so yeah in, the, in when the city is besieged nothing can go in and nothing can go out that's food people resources nothing can enter and nothing can leave so when it's a massive famine a shortage of food and water in the city and the city is being besieged by the u.s and the united nations military what are the people going to do they can resort to cannibalism that's why verse 53 and thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body eat your children the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters which Yahweh thy God have given thee in the siege, and in the straightness wherewith thy enemies shall distress thee. So, um, our people resorting to cannibalism is throughout the scriptures. It's prophesied. It's going to come back in a major way. As a matter of fact, cannibalism is already a common thing in the earth. Now, we're not talking about the, the wicked elites, the blood drinkers, the drinkers of adrenal adrenal chrome, those who do child and baby sacrifices. We're not just talking about them. We're talking about the general public, um, you Americans who eat the standard American diet. And that's a real term, standard American diet. If you eat the, the, the most common foods here in America, you already committing acts of cannibalism. You saw teeth in the McDonald's burgers. Think about Taco Bell, Wendy's, Subway, Burger King, all these fast food chains. You know, what else is they putting in the food supply? Not to mention your most common snacks, chips, cereals, juices, your most common food items you can get in a grocery store got um, natural ingredients meaning to come from pretty much dead bodies. Not only that, we saw this video. They said, matter of fact, let's let them show it. And then dump the remains down the drain to be recycled into the municipal water supply. And so people are drinking it. They're showering it. They're doing their laundry in it. This is happening in most states across the country. In most major cities. They're recycling dead people and feeding it to the living. What does that mean exactly? And they're grinding up the bones into powder. They call this calcium phosphate, which is going to be used for food processing. Undoubtedly. So if you got some food items that got calcium phosphate in it, you know what it is now. Because where else do they get the calcium phosphate from? So that's why I said cannibalism is already a common thing in America. Rather, people know that they're committing cannibalism or not. But the point is, when you put things inside your body, it releases certain chemicals in your brain. So, for example, alcohol, that releases a certain chemical in your brain that brings you pleasure when you drink it. Same with smoking cigarettes. Same with smoking weed. You put chemicals in your body, it releases certain chemicals that you got to get used to. But as you get in the habit of doing those things, your brain, your body, uh, they, they need a fix of that chemical that's released by the brain from the certain things you put in your body. Same thing with food. For example, coffee. Hey, some people got to have that caffeine every day. They got to get a fix of it. Same with a Coke. You might hear people say, I drink a Coke a day. It's something in the Coke that when they drink it, their brain releases a certain chemical and their brain is dependent on that chemical. Same thing with any other food. All foods make your brain release certain chemicals. But the point is, if it's human remains in the water supply, human remains, aborted fetal tissue in the food supply. When you eat these foods, you are already ingesting human remains and human flesh so your brain releases chemicals in response to that human flesh or human remains that you're swallowing 
So your brain is already used to the act of you doing cannibalism. So the point is when, when we besiege in the cities and people resort to cannibalism, they may be in fear at first, they may be hesitant about it, but once they actually eat fresh human flesh, they gonna find out that it's not as bad as they thought. Why? Because their brain is already used to ingesting human flesh in the form of the city's water supply, in the form of McDonald's burgers, and your most common food items. Brain has already been take your brain has already tasted human flesh. So when the people got to gotta do it to their brain, it's gonna be nothing new to them. It's not gonna be nothing foreign. And it's gonna release those same chemicals from eating human flesh as it would if you eat a McDonald's burger. Because people eat McDonald's burgers and other fast food, they get a certain a certain sense of pleasure. You know, you get a sense of pleasure you know, from most things you put in your body, coffee, cigarettes, weed, drugs, it comes with a, a sort of pleasure. Same with eating McDonald's burgers. That pleasure you get, people gonna have that same pleasure when they actually eat fresh human flesh. So most people mentally are already no strangers to cannibalism. They just don't know it. But they're going to find out when they resort to cannibalism, like, damn, it's not that bad. They already been doing it. Their brain is already wired um, to desire and to like human flesh. They just don't know it yet, but they're going to find out. In the next scripture, we're going to get Lamentations 4 and 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. So dying of a famine is one of the worst ways you could die. So people gonna resort to cannibalism. Verse 10, the hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. And this word sodden means to cook or to boil. So again, the hands of the pitiful women have sodden, cooked, boil their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. <clears throat> so people going to desire meat, desire human flesh after a while. You know, your brain rewires itself after so many days without food. So those who eat the standard American diet, your brain is going to switch. It's going to start making you look at people. So you can already get a good idea who's going to resort to cannibalism. You know somebody that eat McDonald's all the time, that eat Taco Bell all the time, that drink the city's water. You know, they eat the most common American food items. You know, they follow the, the standard American diet. Well, they already used to eating human remains and human flesh. So in these times of trouble, when the cities are besieged, under a military lockdown, those same people who eat the standard American diet, rather they be your friends, your siblings, those in your family, you need to keep, you need to keep your eye on them. Because in the famine, when the food is pulled back and they, and they brain activity switches up on them, they're going to start looking at you as a source of food. So make sure you keep your eye on them. And I encourage everybody to break away from the standard American diet. Like we say um, in Micah 2 and 10, it read that what? It is polluted, it shall destroy you. It'll destroy you physically. Obesity, diabetes, uh, heart attacks, it'll destroy you spiritually. You know what I'm saying? But mentally, you know, mentally what? Meaning you already, you already crave human flesh. So keep your eye out on people who hooked on American food because eventually they can be keeping their eye on you when it ain't no food. But that's it for this lesson here. Um, Esau is putting people in the meat supply and they liquefying people and putting them in the water supply. That's why the graveyards never get filled to capacity or expanded. 
So until next time, Shalom.